are in such a good mood because happy Cinco de Mayo, everyone. Yeah. That's right. Today is the day that Americans celebrate Mexicans beating the French in the Battle of Puebla by getting blind drunk, listening to mariachi music, <laughs> then vomiting in a cab. <laughs> or, as we call it in Britain, a Tuesday. <laughs> moved here. I just moved to the States. So this is my first Cinco de Mayo and I've learned that this holiday is basically just a reason to drink, which is comforting <gasps> because up until now I thought the Americans would have to fall back on St. Patrick's Day, the 4th of July, Fat Tuesday, <laughs> Halloween, Hanukkah, Memorial Day, Labor Day, Arbor Day, Columbus Day, Earth Day, President's Day, any sporting event, any barbecue, Thanksgiving or Christmas <laughs> if they needed an excuse to get drunk on a weekday. <laughs> um, I have to admit though... <laughs> To admit, I, I was sort of disappointed because I always thought that Cinco de Mayo was a festival of mayonnaise. <laughs> and don't you think a mayonnaise festival is something that we need? <laughs> don't you? <laughs> like, what isn't better with mayonnaise? Tell me something that is not made better with mayonnaise. Exactly, you can't. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Here's something to celebrate. Uh, the internet has spoken, as a big story today, and they've said that girls love dad bods. Have you seen this? What they're saying is uh, girls don't want a guy with a six pack, they want a guy with a keg, right? <laughs> and when I saw this, I know. When I saw this, I was like, this is amazing. I'm a dad, I have a body. <laughs> this is perfect, but then I read a little deeper and the examples they were using for dad bods were John Hamm and Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> okay, now, one, okay, they don't have children, so they aren't dads. Two, they are two of the most handsome, charismatic men the world has to offer. Like, that article shouldn't read, girls love dad bods. That article should read, girls love millionaire movie stars. <laughs> Somehow, millionaire movie stars have always gotten women to find them attractive. Like, if you're a millionaire movie star, I don't think you ever hear, you know, I'd like you a lot more if you had your dad's body. <laughs> Uh, if you want to see a real dad bod, right, have a look at this guy. There. <laughs> That's my dad. <laughs> so by the way, I call him today. So we're talking about this today, and, and I call my dad, and I, I haven't spoken to him in like a couple of days. And I call him, and I'm like, he's like, hey, mate. I'm like, hey, dad, uh, just a quick one. I'm in a meeting. Um, can you send me a picture of yourself <laughs> without a top on? He went, yeah, no worries, we will do, bye. <laughs> didn't ask what it was for, didn't ask what I'd be needing it for, didn't ask who was going to see it. And then I started thinking, like, it came through, like, instantly. <laughs> I started thinking, did he take that picture right then, or does my dad just have a bunch of topless <laughs> selfies in his phone, <laughs> like it's Kim Kardashian? He's like, hmm. Let me see. Ah. Which one should I choose? Ah, mm, the Benjamin Button. Uh, 